All right, uh, so that's pretty much it for get operations. Uh, but um, many times you need to perform write operations. And uh, that is uh, when you start realizing that you need to learn a little bit more about the, the module. So uh, what we can do is we're going to create a new article using the API instead of going through the form that we have in the in the Drupal in the Drupal side, uh, it would be like going to node at article. Instead of going here, I'm going to create the node using the API because uh, that API is going to maybe be powering an editorial experience that is decoupled and it has uh, a more tailored uh, experience than this one uh, or for whatever reasons you need to create the content through the API. Uh, so what you need to do is first you need to do a post because we are creating a new article. So we're going to do a post request against node slash article and we're going to send a body. So we're going to send a JSON API object that represents the new article that we want to get back. Um, there is one extra small consideration and that is that in the headers that we send, we need to specify this string application slash VND API JSON. And if you go to the uh, to the spec page, you can search for this, and you can see that oops, yeah, the content type for posts needs to be set to to this. Um, so once you have done these two things uh, and I'm gonna uh, show you uh, I'm gonna just not send this header right uh, if I was to send this obviously you will not be able to create an article because you're sending the request as an anonymous user so I'm not gonna get too much into uh, how you do authorization or authentication in in a decoupled application, uh, please feel free to go to the OAuth 2 videos that I have published. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna just use basic auth, uh, which is not great, but uh, it serves our purposes. Uh, and I updated this to get my uh, my credentials, which are admin admin. Uh, you should get a better password than that, uh, but for my local, that's fine. Um, so I'm sending these two headers this one is to uh, say, hey, this object that I'm sending you, this body, is in this particular format. And this one is saying, hey, this is the admin uh, speaking, so I have permissions to create an article. So next we're going to move to the actual fields that, that we want to send. So um, let's see. I want to create a, an article. And for this, I want to add something uh, my article for the videos and uh, I yeah uh, in, in here we could set it to be not published and uh, we could set it to be sticky or not and my body is gonna say mm, hello this is a neat article from a uh, post request all right that seems uh, good enough and uh, I'm gonna say that this is um, of type article and uh, the user the UID of this is gonna be set to the user ID one and I'm gonna send some taxonomy terms uh, to 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 the backend. Um, so uh, basically, as you can imagine, this is very similar to what you get. Um, and I'm going to just get page limit one. Uh, I'm going to just get one article, whatever article. I just want to see one. Um, so this is very similar to just getting copying this 
uh, this is a big article uh, copying this and putting it into the body um, minus the fields and very important minus the ID because uh, we don't have an ID yet because we are creating the article right so um, I'm just gonna send this and see what happens so I'm sending the post request as the admin user and I'm setting this to be my uh, my new article uh, yes my my article from videos and to be in draft mode um, so the request came back and we uh, go down here and you see that it was created it was assigned an ID status is zero uh, my article for for the video so it was actually created because we get a created and change timestamps etc so it worked um, if we go over here and uh, back to the site we uh, refresh uh, but we see nothing because this article is in draft mode so we need to go to to content uh, and in there we'll see an article my article from the videos it was created and status is unpublished so yay it works uh, next what we're going to do is we're going to do an update to the article so we can make it published